CataractCoach.com, how to uninject an eye well to explant it. And let's go through a couple of different techniques. The first one here is from Bill Wiley from Ohio. And you can see there's an existing lens in the capsule bag. He's going to carefully dissect it out of the capsule bag using plenty of viscoelastic and bring the old lens up into the anterior chamber. More viscoelastic to further expand the capsule bag. And now the new IOL will be placed in the capsule bag first. And that's a smart way using it to protect the posterior capsule. So here comes the new lens, the new desired lens, and that's going to go in the capsule bag. And there are many reasons to do an IOL exchange. And um, in the rare case that we do need it, it can be a lifesaver. So there you go. New lens in the capsule bag. Now all you have to do is remove the old lens. He's putting these special forceps inside the barrel of an injector tip grabbing the old lens and just pulling it to essentially uninject it. It folds up on itself and it can pull it out of the eye. Just that easy. So that was incredibly easy. So let's watch it one more time, grabbing the optic edge and just pulling it. And there's an empty lens cartridge there to help create a tunnel or a passageway to guide it out of the eye. And now the rest of the case can be finished, remove the scholastic, et cetera. Pretty straightforward. So again, let's watch it again. The cartridge is there up against the incision. These forceps go down the barrel of the cartridge, grab the IOL, and just retract it. And these hydrophobic acrylic lenses come out pretty easily. So here is a trial in a lab. So there's an IOL being grabbed with forceps. And then there's a cartridge there. And then the IOL can simply be uninjected by grabbing it and pulling it out. And you can see the lens folds up on itself as it essentially gets uninjected. It goes back into the cartridge. Now this could damage or fracture the lens, but you don't mind, you're getting rid of the lens anyway. So let's look at that one more time here. Those are the forceps. These are the Fuoka forceps from a surgeon in Japan. And the Fuoka forceps go right here down the barrel of your injector tube, and they can grab the lens and then retract it grab it, and then retract it. So the barrel of the empty, empty injector tip serves as a tunnel to help guide that lens out of the eye. I suppose you could do it without the injector, but it may damage the corneal endothelium at the entry site. Now let me show you one more video. This is from more than 10 years ago. This is a surgeon from India, Dr. Arup Baumik, and he used an idea of making a snare so just a wire snare to capture the lens, and same thing, through an empty injector tip, he simply pulls back on the snare, and watch, he uninjects the lens. This video of his won the um, Film Festival of Award many years ago when he first presented it. What a genius idea. So the uh, Fuoka forceps are very similar, just grabbing the lens and pulling it out of the eye through that. Now there are other methods, as you know from here, I enjoy that twist and out technique. This is the one that's been previously published, and we've seen this video here on Cataract Coach, and this simply is grabbing the edge of the optic with your straight tying forceps, using the chopper there to get a really good grab, and look, we're grabbing the edge of it, one haptic outside the eye. And now there's a spatula there to help protect the corneal endothelium, and also to help um, roll up that lens. So we just roll it up and we can pull it out of an unenlarged incision as small as 2.4 millimeters and no extra cartridge is needed. And that does not damage the lens. That's the paper that we published about it with Raho Pundit and of course Jack Chapman who taught us this. And the idea is to start with the hand supinated so you can then pronate the hand and keep rotating it. That allows for the most um, rotation. Here's one of my resident surgeons doing this. This is a surgeon with only about 100 cataracts of experience. But again, rotating that lens with the tying forceps, using a spatula to help roll the lens and protect the cornea, and just simply pull it out of the eye. Let me show you that view from outside the eye. You can see I'm not scrubbed. The resident's doing the solo, rotating it, and it pulls right out of the incision. Let me show you Dr. Wiley's video one more time. Again, grabbing the edge of the optic with these forceps, and I'm going to uninject it right through that cartridge. That works beautifully. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on, cataractcoach.com, check it out.